Well, that was a hell of a day. What's up guys, thanks for tuning into the Bullet Points. Today we've got the CMMG Banshee. Um, I've seen a lot of press on this lately, so I had to get a hold of one uh, because everybody seems to really like them and I wanted to see uh, what my thoughts would be. So anyway, went ahead and grabbed one of these. This here is the 22 caliber version. This comes in 22 LR. Um, it's also available in nine millimeter, 45, 300 blackout, 5.56, 223, that sort of thing. Um, but uh, I wanted the 22 version because I love shooting 22. Super cheap, um, easy to shoot, low recoil, quiet, fun, teach kids on it, everything that you love about 22s. They do make this in a pistol version, so you can get one with your brace uh, if you don't want to go the tax stamp route, which you know I think is probably a very good way to go. Um, but uh, this one is their SBR version. Some other things to note about it, this is a very short, very light gun. Uh, in its compacted state, minus the suppressor, uh, this comes in at about 21 inches and four and a half pounds. Um, so it is very, very light, uh, even for a, a 22 AR. Um, mostly aluminum construction here, so that offers a lot of weight savings. A couple things about it, uh, it's got this really cool color. I think it's like the graphite color. Uh, they come in, I think, seven or eight different uh, color options, Cerakoted directly from CMMG. Uh, and there's no additional cost to pick those colors. So pick up the one that you want. You don't have to spend a bunch of money on Cerakoting afterwards if you've got a particular color theme you're going after. Something that's really cool about it is this here. This is called the Ripstock. Uh, this is CMMG's proprietary stock. And the cool thing about it is you can pull it out without pulling any levers or anything and it latches to a preset configuration. So you can still use it in one of the other settings but if you want to just pull on it, it comes out to whichever setting you put the set screw in. Um, so I went ahead and put it on like the third setting here um, just to kind of play around with it. But that's really cool. And I found out that CMMG actually offers this uh, as a standalone product too. So if you wanted to upgrade one of your ARs with one of these, um, it's on their site. It does use uh, 22 magazines shaped like, you know, your typical AR mags. Uh, these are proprietary, however, I've tried a couple of different 22 mags uh, for ARs and they sit up just a little bit too high and it catches the bolt. So unfortunately that is a proprietary piece, but um, everything else on here is pretty awesome. Went ahead with the uh, suppressed SBR version. Um, this is a two tack stamp gun, uh, but you can get it minus that and that um, shipped, you know, kind of straight to your FFL if you wanted to go that route. No tack stamps, uh, no NFA required. I went ahead and mounted the uh, Vortex Spark 2. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to hit something today. I'm a terrible shot, but uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed. Let's go ahead and run a couple mags with it. Um, I'll tell you what I think of the uh, silenced version of this and the SBR version of this. So. Uh, Let's get some mags loaded up, fire down range. CMMG Banshee in 22 with uh, CMMG's def can suppressor. Let's give it a run. That was kind of cool. I, I noticed that it was a uh, last round kind of bolt catch. Um, it didn't hold it all the way back, but uh, it did stop to let me know that um, I was out of ammo. That was kind of cool. This thing runs great. One thing I did notice as well is You've got a forward assist here, and typically that doesn't do anything on your 22 conversions, but if you look at that, it actually does work. There's a, a little plastic shroud that goes over the top of the bolt carrier group. It's got serrations on it, just like your typical um, AR style bolt carrier would, and that allows for you to actually use the forward assist. That's the first time I've ever seen that on a uh, 22 AR style setup. Pretty badass. Um, so that was Winchester White Box. I ran just two mags of that. Um, 
I'm going to grab some subsonics because we do have a suppressor on here. This thing's actually running really good too. Uh, this is again the DEFCAN 22. Uh, we've done a review of this guy by itself. We'll put the link up here in the corner. Um, but um, this is really quiet for just running your typical Winchester white box. So there's the uh, last round bolt open, but as soon as you take the magazine out, it closes. Kind of cool that it does it though, because you can feel, you can kind of feel the weight of the bolt back. Uh, you can feel it in the trigger and then just the audible sound. Um, it's definitely a good reminder that you're out, unlike a 1022 or something where you go to squeeze that last round off and there's nothing there and you look all embarrassed. So it's pretty neat. Well guys, like I said, there's a couple other videos out there on uh, the CMMG Banshee. Um, and I gotta say, I agree with everybody else. This thing is pretty badass, man. Um, it comes in at the uh, short barrel version, uh, $1,150. So you're spending quite a bit for a uh, 22 AR. Um, but again, this thing is super badass. The ripstock, the ambi charging handle, um, ambi safety selector, the fact that the forward assist actually works, um, comes dressed out with some Magpul gear. Again, this is the tack stamp version because I got the ripstock on there. You can do one with the um, you know, standard brace instead. But um, for you know $1,150, this is a freaking awesome little toy. Um, super compact, again, 21 inches in its short configuration, uh, four and a half pounds. Guns do not get much more compact and light than this. So I had an absolute blast shooting it. Um, I love the fact that you can get it in really whichever color you'd like. Um, and uh, the DEFCAN 22 did a really, really good job. Um, I was firing supersonics, uh, just your standard kind of Winchester white box stuff uh, for most of the day. That all ran fine, not a single misfeed, not a single double feed, nothing going on with that. Um, so it ran flawlessly, except for I tried to run a couple subsonic rounds and I just don't think that they had enough power uh, to blow the bolt carrier group back and cycle that next round. So um, food for thought there, if you do get one of these and you suppress it, don't even worry about running subsonic rounds because this thing is unbelievably quiet with your standard velocities. Um, so anyway, DEFCAN 22, two thumbs up, CMMG Banshee, three thumbs up if I had them, um, but ultimately just a badass little gun. So cruise over silencer shop. I know that they always have these things for under MSRP. Um, I think they've got it for right around a thousand, thousand fifty, something like that. So save yourself a couple hundred bucks and get it through silencer shop. But uh, thanks again to the guys at CMMG. Thanks again to the guys at silencer shop. Uh, this is a really, really cool toy. So go out and pick yourself up one. Teach your kids to shoot on this too. Great platform for the, uh, for the beginner AR user. All right, guys, we'll see you next time on the bullet points. Thanks for tuning in.